back to the first time. <laughs> now, before the break, Rachel let her that the truth had written to insanity. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, with the new breaking story, apparently, the rapper JR has been spotted again wearing this tight golden pant. Now, the truth, in ending, is there anything that you want to say to the people back on earth? Chrono fairies, nemesis of time, carriers of heavy bleeding hearts that leak fluids that cleanse the enslaved hands so that they could escape their psychic prison. Intoxicated by fumes from breweries fueled by chrono fairies that stir parts of eternity in the right direction, oh. good. Where illumined markers are placed upon the backs of fleet and roads made of arcane winds for the blind spirits to see, for light spirits to see. Light spirits with balloon characteristics have reached the apex of enlightenment by inhaling the life scented breath engraved with the essence of being. Elevated light spirits, they shake kisses with blushing virgin clouds that cry out their love in the softest of oh, words. No, no. It's in these delicate moments of intricate intimacy that my blind spirit began to see. Moments when these orgasmic clouds cried out, clear purplish tears in the form of films that left my blind spirit recite. I started seeing, I started seeing not just the stars, but silhouettes of buried dreams projected upon the never ending sky by the radiant heart of Gaia. I saw not constellations, but families of stars huddled up in cradle form, rocking back and forth. Back and forth, nurturing the infant worlds conceived by fertile gods that were possessed by eternal clutches of laughters. Laughters that shook celestial castles built with stardust. Tracing the origins of these laughters I met, Iluma, the inadequately looking god. The god of light with one eye that shot out the bluest light forever focused on the grayest circular womb that had yet to give birth to its infant world. And it's a one-legged insomniac with a soul obsessed with caressing the aura of the earth. <laughs> Yielding night and day, light and darkness, as the shy earth opened and closed its eyelids. With an orchestra for a heart, with an orchestra for a heart, an orchestra that played ethereal symphonies that peeled open the glued eyelids of spirit children that had yet to learn how to shed earthly beggars so that they may travel light. In this world filled with vortex opinions and realities, learn to shed your earthly beggars so that you may travel light, travel light, light, spirit, child. Uh, yeah. <laughs>